Two scavengers in a truck, two beautiful people in a Mercedes, another great poem. First point of meaning that you can actually talk about here is the idea of the inequality between people. Obviously, you've got uh, these people working completely polar opposites, um, these two garbage men doing their job, and then you've got this um, ba -ba 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 -ba, uh, young blonde woman and the, the man in the actual Mercedes. And obviously, they're in a position where they can actually go to uh, an architect's office. Uh, or maybe he is the architect, who knows? Basically, they work there, but the, the job that we actually have reference to the jobs that they are or, or the people inside it that they are actually linking to whereas the actual position society that these two have is completely and utterly different and obviously unequal uh, we've also got the idea of the poverty and wealth uh, again through the Mercedes and the garbage that they actually have to so they've actually just got their um, cheap red plastic blazers whereas obviously the man in the Mercedes has a hip three linen pursuit and he's actually obviously in a Mercedes one of the other ideas that we actually got is this uh, failed politics and uh, false democracy as that comes down to the end here well basically if everything was dem democratic and everyone actually did have equal um, equal weighting in their voting and everyone should have an equal position in society everyone should actually be um, together and uh, living in the same kind of standard of life but as uh, the poet here <coughs> Ferdinand Getty tells us this is only happening the only time that these people ever be caught together is by this red light uh, just this uh, certain time well one's on their way home and one's on their way out some of the images that we actually have okay so we've got the um the ugly seeming uh, workers i'm just stressed here by the idea of the gaga or cosimodo it's stressed again by the idea of the red plastic you know uh, that's not really something anyone actually wants to wear and basically we've got the idea of them being grungy and dirty and we've got the uh, the the pleasant reference to obviously the woman and the man in the car and how lovely they are, which is one of the other images that we actually have. This cool, beautiful upper class or upper middle class set of people uh, and them going about their business. Another image that we actually have to us is this frozen in time moment where everything's actually being held. And obviously that's mentioned first of all by this uh, red light that's holding them together, but also in the idea that there was this um, oldless TV ad. So we've got this idea of just this moment, something that they're watching. And obviously the poem's being described to us as something that's being watched. So that could be a, a frozen moment in time there too, perhaps just before the next show comes on. Uh, language throughout the poem is really, really interesting as well. So we've got the oxymoron of small gulf which is uh, at the end uh, that's a great technique that's actually used so basically he's trying to say here they're, they're close together for this moment but they're actually miles apart in terms of society the alliteration as well earlier used in casually coiffed is kind of sarcastic and it shows how well dressed she is and extenuates her beauty in contrast to the garbage men as the harsh consonant provides a barrier between them casually coiffed but at the same time it can actually be quite sarcastic you know she's kind of molly coddled um, maybe protected maybe protected from things like uh, them oh sorry should i say people like them uh, it's not something she would normally associate with um the continuing there we've got the metaphor of the gray iron of the hair of the um uh, one of the people on the dump truck um it's not only the color of the hair but also insinuates insinuates sorry the prison like routines he carries out because it's gray iron like um, gray iron bars and also uh, the iron actually talks about the weight of his position society on his shoulders you know he's actually at the bottom of the ladder everything else, everyone else is on top of him and maybe that's the iron reference there and also it gives the idea of old and war -worn and you know just something that's uh, people don't really pay that much attention to because it's just supposed to be durable it is just there it should last uh, we've got another simile a little later on like some gargoyle just here uh, obviously this is showing how ugly they are in comparison making a striking vivid example um, with the hunchback uh, famous hunchback uh, Cosimodo um, and we've also got language the Mercedes is the car is referenced to build an image and to show brand recognition as well as the capitalist values that go with it so it's not just the Mercedes itself being a plush car but it also stands for something it means a certain wage it means a certain kind of life and uh, it's representing more than just the idea of a fancy car and basically if you actually tie into those higher levels there that would be really really good because that's the examiners looking to see how far you can stretch this okay so when we look at the actual structure here in the S uh, there's a lack of punctuation shows he's viewing it without judgment so basically he's just saying what he sees he's just uh, he's just reporting exactly what he sees it's not calculated and considered where he's actually structured it to be all even and equal the whole way through 
Uh, it's got offset lines. Obviously, this version here doesn't seem like it's got the offset lines, but that's just because of the layout on the page. But in the one in your anthology, the one that you will analyze and examine, it does have offset lines. So where it's basically showing that they're split left and right, left and right, left and right, and it shows how different the set of lives are and the different places they actually have in society. And again, mention the multiple meanings. You go in Jean again. Um, which highlights the performance element of the poem and also helps us to actually focus on the final words and some of the lines actually stressing them. And also, it, uh, we've got the free verse, um, shows the observing and comments, sorry, I've mentioned that. And the, yes, the lack of punctuation, yes, we've mentioned all those, apologies for repeating those sections there. It's all actually not be there. So what does this make us think about? Well, it makes us think about the treatment of the poor in society and those that actually work underneath those who work underneath us. Um, basically looking at the lower rungs of society and making us aware of their lives and how things might seem to them and how upper classes might just ignore them and might that that might be a comment on society in general uh, it shows us the dangers of a capitalist society where you can have such a massive disparity in uh, wealth and um, income etc so people can leave such vastly different lives and it also shows us cultural differences and similarities in the way that people dress in their places in society and we've got that really interesting mirror almost kind of mirroring that odd uh, almost um ironic mirroring uh, mi mirroring of the of the the guys that are actually the same age and they're wearing sunglasses but then just their situations apart from that are completely completely different so there's some um, uh, items that you can pick out to uh, to analyze with against another poem